Hi, Dave here again. A uh, little video on the new hopper I've just made. <coughs> for, for, for some people might be interested. <coughs> right, what I've done to make it uh, more usable is that I've put this in, right, which is little pin open, open there, close there. So you pull it up there, in there, and that's open and closed. Right, and then what I've done, this is how I made the plunger. So the plunger is made like that. So there's a little washer welded on there. So that's a spring, button, bit of half inch pipe, that's all it is, and then that goes on there, a little bit on the top, so that pokes through 6mm, because it's 6mm in there, um, that, that's how I made it all, <coughs> quite simple, new hopper, <coughs> and then what I did is, this is the second half of it, which is, you can see it's on the top of the fire, <coughs> which is this bit here, Right, so you can now see what I've made. So it's there, it's very simple. Six mil clearance, that pops up, pops into that hole there. That is, that's it, so it opens the butterfly inside. The little modification that I did make on the butterfly, <coughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there. I've put a chamfer on there, so when it shuts, if there's any <coughs> pellets inside, it will actually, it actually, when it closes, it will actually chop the pellets that are in the way. That, that's what I've done. That bit there fits on the top, which is all the way round, and that seals on the top of the fire. You don't, <coughs> don't need any air going in there at all. So that fits on the four inch, uh, because mine's four inch, so that's what that fits on. That's a bit of three inch tube inside, <coughs> um, bit of 10 mil, and that runs through two little holes and then what I did <coughs> I found that the screws sometimes come undone so what I've done there's a on this side you can see there's just a, a little if I close it a little bit there we are you can see in there I don't know if you can uh, Anyway, what I did is I put a little bit of weld on the far side because it kept coming undone, the screws. Uh, yeah, you can't really see. But anyway, there's, there is a weld in there. So what I did is I drilled and tapped it, put that on, I flattened the bar uh, with a grinder so that you get a nice flat surface to put the butterfly on. And then what I did is <coughs> drilled and tapped it, put the two screws in, M3s they are, <coughs> you can do them whatever you fancy. And then I put a little weld on the other side of this, which is just in there, it doesn't matter, just to hold it all together, because it did come undone. But there we are, that's what it is, and that then is welded to the, uh, the bottom of the, the cylinder, right, which the cylinder was made from, that was a gas cylinder. I think it was 70 kilos uh, gas cylinder, which was absolutely perfect for me. That takes <coughs> 30 litres of wood pellets, which is what just right. So that will last me all day and uh, a bit of quite a, well, I think it goes through the night as well. But that's what that actually holds. And in the top here, there's a bar, so you can lift it off if you want to. So you can remove that from the fire. Um, this is the old fire, which is running not too bad. Um, I have changed the, um, the basket. This was the basket that was in there, which was, it really does work well. That new basket has reduced the temperature, which was what I was trying to do. Um, I was having trouble because it was getting so hot that um, it was too hot. This was so efficient um, and, and not bad for, for a year. It has burnt away a bit there. Um, that was all 6mm bar. That's 6mm stainless, that is. 
and it's burnt away. What's it worth? So that was bang on the six mil, right? So it's lost. Oh, nearly a nearly a millimeter. That's that's nearly a millimeter in uh, in um, metal. So that shows you how much it, it took a year to burn that away. So that's not bad. But it only burns away the ones in the middle. See these outside ones are still reading six millimeters. So uh, there we are, six millimeters. That's the outside ones. But it's these ones here. One, two, three. Three in the middle. Four. Yeah. One, two, three. Th those. Those three there. One, 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 two, three. Those three burn out quicker than the others, and it is a pain in the ass to re replace them. You can actually see it a bit better there. See how much it's actually burnt away. But I was getting the temperatures were 900 degrees on that tube, so it's cherry red material. And the problem is doing that is that you're causing the steel to slowly delaminate over time, and that's not good. So you're, you're burning your tube out. Um, but it's running this morning. There we are. That's what it's running. I'll give it a, give it a tap. I find that this this is not quite as good as that. That one never blocks up. But the temperature. Let's go for it. There we are, five. Right, that's reading 600. Uh, oh, six, 600, that's reading across there. Right, we go back here. I'll do it again. Pretty difficult to get this on the camera. Right. Five. Five. There we are. 600. Oh, it doesn't work, does it? So difficult to show. It does do it, but it's it's 600 degrees there. Um, so that's more what the temperature I wanted. There are five. Let's do it from here. See if we can get it right. These things aren't. What you've got to realise is that unfortunately these things aren't very accurate. Yeah. Rubbish. Um, take it from me, that's 600 degrees and there's no door on the front. Um, obviously, that is about the right temperature that you want because it doesn't delaminate the steel so much. Um, this is what I've replaced it with. So you can see what I did. Uh, I've made a basket like this. So this is the basket. That's what's in there at the moment. And you can see inside. It burns less material than that one. But um, obviously because it's burning less material, it's not using so much oomph. So it's not so much uh, well, if you're using less material, you're not having such a high flame. Um, but the, the advantage with this is that you can push these bars out, the ones that burn out, and replace them. Whereas on my old one, you can't do that. You've got to, to replace the bars. You've got to cut them off here and here, and then weld a new one in. With that system, you don't need to do that. So. That's what's in the fire at the moment. Um, you've still got to maintain the three quarters of an inch from there to there. That's important. That's about really uh, it. Is. But I thought you'd like to see the update on the hopper. That's what it's all about, is the update on the hopper. And uh, gas cylinders are brilliant. 
I just say thank you very much for a gas cylinder. I actually found that in the ditch alongside the road, which was really handy. Um, and that's what I've done. So that's the modifications. So I hope you've uh, uh, subscribed to the video. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll catch you all on the flip side. This is Dave signing off.